Last time on Dragon Ball Z. The Universe 6 Destroyer Champa travelled to Universe 7, seeking the final Super Dragon Ball, and after negotiations, a tournament was made between the two Universe's strongest fighters, with the winning team gaining all of the Super Dragon Balls. With Goku breezing through his opponents, Vegeta forces him to step aside so he can participate. And during his battle with the Assassin Hit, Vegeta breaks his own limits and achieves Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Domain of the Gods What if Goku unlocked Ultra Instinct early? Part 3 Last time, we left off with Vegeta surpassing his limits and using Super Saiyan Blue Evolution to defeat Hit. With Vegeta showing off such impressive feats of strength, we know that Zamasu would want to put his plan into motion. In the future timeline, Future Trunks would be running away from someone. Emotions ran through Trunks' head as he watched his own father kill his mother. The last thing his mother said was run, as Future Trunks arrived in the present timeline. Once Future Trunks arrived, he lunged at his father, but Vegeta easily caught his fist and chopped his neck, knocking Trunks cold out. Everyone was really confused as to why Future Trunks was here, but nobody knew the real reason until Future Trunks woke up. He explained that his own father was attacking everyone for some reason, and Trunks was nowhere near strong enough to face him. Vegeta scoffed, and reminded his son that he was dead in the future timeline, meaning that was impossible. Before any more words could be said, a portal opens in the sky, and Vegeta Black flies out. So, this is where you cowered to. It took me a while to realise you went to a whole different timeline. Vegeta immediately rushed at Black in a blind rage, but Black easily kicked him back down into the ground. Vegeta got back up, now in Super Saiyan, rushing at Black again, only to realise they would need to use some more power. Vegeta stopped playing around, and transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta quickly beginning to toy with Black, and beating on him. Vegeta then powering up an energy ball in his hand, about to finish Black off, but Black was pulled back into the future timeline. This time, however, he was unable to destroy the group's time machine before fleeing. The group quickly makes a plan on how to stop this threat. Although Vegeta is eager to have a rematch with himself, Beerus and Whis state that they need to learn a little more about this threat. Noticing the fact he has a time ring, Vegeta scoffs and flies off, as Beerus, Whis and Goku still end up investigating Zamasu. This leaves Future Trunks, who decides to help Bomb refuel the time machine. By the time everyone got back, the time machine was refueled and ready to go. Vegeta, Goku, and Future Trunks make their way to the future timeline. Once they arrive, they help out any remaining survivors with food and aid that Bomb prepared for them. Vegeta, however, was very anxious and went ahead to look for Black. Vegeta was angry that he let him escape and vowed not to make the same mistake again. But out of nowhere, Vegeta was hit into a nearby building. Black begins to laugh as Vegeta powered up into blue once again. This energy spike was enough to alert Goku and Trunks, who quickly came to aid Vegeta. Goku transformed into Super Saiyan Blue and began to help Vegeta, but Black was only getting stronger and finally decided to reveal a transformation of his own. Black transformed into a Super Saiyan Rose transformation, and with this power up, he gained the upper hand against Goku and Vegeta. Not to mention the fact that Zamasu had revealed himself as well and began fighting toe to toe with future Trunks. The battle wasn't looking too good for Goku and Vegeta, but Black made a big mistake. He decided to tell Vegeta how he took over his body, and how he killed Bulma and Kid Trunks, and this enraged Vegeta beyond anything we've ever seen before. Vegeta exploded with power as rocks began to fly all around him. Vegeta transformed into a blue evolution once again, and with this began toying around with Black. Zamasu noticed this happening. But now, Goku was also fighting him as well, which meant he had no opening to save Black. Vegeta was now at the end of his flurry of attacks, and began to charge up a Gallic gun. Zamasu quickly flew in between the blasts however, saving Black, and quickly healing him. The Zenkai that Black gained from being healed was enormous, and not to mention that Vegeta had spent a lot of energy on his last attack. Vegeta powered down from Blue Evolution. As Goku stepped up to fight, he told Trunks to give Vegeta a Sensei Bean as Goku began fighting both Black and Zamasu. Goku had been saving his energy, just in case he needed to use Ultra Instinct. And now was the time. Goku tapped into Omen, 
and began to dodge all of Zamasu's attacks. While dodging Zamasu, he would counterattack Black, killing him and punching him very hard. Black tried to use Keyblades to attack Goku, but even that didn't work. As Goku kept fighting more and more, Zamasu and Black began getting impatient and began arguing. Zamasu told Black there was one last thing they could do. With the two gods fusing, intermerged Zamasu. With this power, even Omen wasn't enough to deal with the fusion. Although Goku could somewhat evade their attacks, he still wasn't able to land any of attacks of his own. And when he did, they did little to no damage. Merged Zamasu laughed and said they should have done this all along. As Goku kept fighting, however, he felt something inside of him changing. Vegeta looked at Goku one last time and told him that he had to do what Wheat has been teaching them to do all along. He has to trespass into the domain of the gods and reach into his full potential. Vegeta sent Goku all of his energy and instructed Trunks to do the same as well. Goku received the energy and this was enough to empower Goku. Goku began to glow and his aura exploded. Goku finally mastering Ultra Instinct. With this new power, Goku was able to make quick work of Merge Zamasu. After Zamasu became corrupted, Goku used a Kamehameha to finish him off. This, however, only led to Zamasu becoming one with the universe itself. After Goku realizes he now can't kill Zamasu, he would still contact Zeno. And after seeing Zamasu, Zeno would erase the entire timeline. Which means Whis has to later bring Trunks and Mai to a different version of their timeline. After everyone says goodbye to Trunks and Mai, Whis takes them to the new timeline. And after Whis returns, Goku and Vegeta share a glance at each other and nod. As Vegeta thanks Goku for the save, but Goku tells Vegeta that he wouldn't have ever been able to surpass his limits without his energy. Beerus and Whis don't believe that Goku was able to master Ultra Instinct in such a short time. And with this, Goku and Vegeta return to Beerus' planet. Whis yells commence as Goku and Vegeta lunge at each other and continue their training. But this is where we are going to end off this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then make sure to like, comment, and please do subscribe. It is quick and easy to do. Also, I want to give a huge thank you to Star Knight by the way, Alpha Nerd, All Might, Baldemir Garcia, Camo Ren, and Jonathan Way for becoming channel members. If you want to be shouted out at the end of a video, and give a perk for the channel members here, then there is a link in the description down below to become a channel member. It greatly supports me, and helps me immensely. With all of that out of the way, hope to see you all in the next episode of What If Goku Got Ultra Instinct Early?